All right, so welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today we're at the Rio Palace, Baja, California, and we have a room tour for you. This is going to be a junior suite room, and we're going to take a look and see what kind of features and what it looks like. The first thing I want to point out is this is sort of a new style for Rio. This is kind of the uh, the tan woods um, kind of style as opposed to maybe their more traditional brown woods or the other resorts where they're kind of white on purple on silver. And that's actually why we chose this room is just because, or this resort is just because we want to experience the new style. The Rio Palace Baja California is brand new. It's only been open for a year now. So everything is just really, really fresh and new and awesome. Coming in the door, there's the light switches. And just like the other hotels you may be used to, if you take this card out, it does shut the electricity off in the room, which is a good feature. Um, just as you're walking out, you can pull that card and turn everything off, and that way you're not wasting electricity. So just inside the door, right to your right, is the toilet. And then just to the left of that is a nice little kind of um, separator that's got these wood panels. It looks really, really nice. And a full-size mirror here to help you get ready. And then just off to the side here, you have your bathroom. So you have your double sink here, two mirrors to get ready. And I love the shelf underneath here. It's got lots of space for all your toiletries. Very, very accessible as well, very open concept. In here, you have the shower. And just like some of the other reviews we've stayed in, you notice that the shower is a little bit dark just when you're in here. It actually looks kind of bright on camera here, but it's not a big problem or anything, but it could be a little tiny bit brighter. We have a beautiful, beautiful rainfall shower here. So they always stock nice towels just to set in here. So moving along, they have a hair dryer included as well. And then you got a couple outlets here for your anything that you need to get ready with. And again, just over here as well, there's an outlet just behind uh, Mona's toiletry bag here. They have a mirror set up here. And just behind here, you have the nice uh, lighter colored tan woods and a couple light switches here that operate the light in the shower and the light just behind us where the mirrors are. And there's a couple spots where you can hang um, towels, bathrobes, and uh, we use this for toiletry bags too. And then turning just to the, if you're walking in the door to the left, that's where the closets are. And in here, there's some space up here for any extra storage you have. Lots and lots of hangers. And they hang their Ryu robes here, as you can see. So there'll be usually two robes in here. We have one in use right now. There's an ironing board. There's the iron down there in the bottom as well. And we've got our luggage and um, backpacks in here right now too. So on the other side, this is where the in-room safe is located too. For some of your items that you need a bit of extra security, you can put them in the safe here. Just to the right of that, you have your coffee and drinks nook. All Ryu Palace Resorts will have the in-room liquor dispensers. So we have Jose Cuervo tequila, Smirnoff vodka, white Bacardi rum, and then Beefeater London gin. And you can just place a glass up here, press it up, just like this. And as you hold it up, that tequila comes into your glass with a shot, and you can enjoy. And then here's your coffee. So the coffee maker here, and some of the coffee that we've already used, and some mugs as well. And there's an ice bucket here too that you can use to go grab some ice. Just below that, they have the in-room fridge. And typically this is stocked with um, four water bottles. We've actually used the water already, so the staff haven't been by to restock that. And then they usually have, what you can see here, they have some beer, so Dos Equis beer, some Dos Equis beer on the bottom. We actually purchased these. These electrolyte beverages do not come with the resort. We purchased those separate and put them in the fridge. And then there's some tonic water, there's some seven ups as well, some uh, sparkling water, and then Pepsi and Diet Pepsi as well. So moving along here as well, we have just behind me was the in-room soaker tub. We haven't used the soaker tub, but it's there in case you have um, the desire to do so. And then just to the left side here of the room, we have sort of our entertainment and storage areas. So we placed our luggage here, just to the one side of what we kind of use as like a sitting area or just kind of putting some of our beach bags and stuff when we get back from the beach. Just below we've used for our shoes, 
and you can see just over to the side here you can put any other bags as well there's some space and then there's a TV here as well a big Samsung screen they have lots and lots of channels so they have tons and tons of movies and then also Lots of empty space here to place any of your belongings. A wall charger. We have our uh, charger for our camera charging our battery, which is full. You're going to take that out actually right now. And down below, they have six drawers for your clothing. And then over this way, they have the a table. So this table they use for uh, if you order room service. They'll bring the room service in with a little cart, walk it over here, and they'll set your table just like you would be if you're in the dining room. So they'll put the knives and forks on a napkin, put your plates out and set it really nicely so you can enjoy some dinner or some room service while you're in your room. Speaking of room service, this is the room service menu that you have all included in your all-inclusive package. So it's 24 hours to place your order. You can call 840. Here's the menu for the room service. So there's not a lot to offer, but you know, if you're hungry, you can get stuff between 11 a.m. and 7 a.m. But if you're still hungry and you don't want anything from the room service menu, you can go to Lounge 24 and they have a, few, a little bit more of a selection from that and that's open 24 hours. I love this wall decoration here. It's awesome and it gives kind of that desert Baja California Sur uh, vibe to it from the, in the rooms here. Looking over this way, there's a small love seat here or a sofa. This is not a pull-out bed, okay, so it's just a sofa. But if you were staying in one of the superior suites, which we did a tour for, and I'll put that video down in the description below, um, inside the superior suite, that sofa does have a pull-out couch there to sleep more people. And then in all Ryu resorts, they'll give you the Ryu magazine to kind of show you what's new and what's happening with uh, Ryu hotels. And then lastly here, that brings us to the bed. So here's uh, our room hat came with the king size bed option. Uh, it's a bit of a firmer mattress, so it's a bit hard. So if you're used to something a bit softer, just note that this mattress is quite firm. Um, but I've had no trouble sleeping on it. Both of us have had some pretty comfortable sleeps. Over to the left side of the bed, there's a uh, lamp. And then inside the lamp, we just found this out recently actually, that they have little reading lamps as well. So you can flick it on and off and use this little uh, lever here to kind of point it to where you are just so you can get just a little bit of light if you're looking to kind of settle in keep the room dark so just underneath the lamps we got um, an outlet a wall outlet we have a USB charger here which is charging another one of our camera batteries a ceiling fan switch and then some other switches that control the lights in the room there's a phone that you can call the front desk or a room service and then just below that we have a little bit of extra storage down here if you'd like to put anything like books or your cell phone or anything like that. And then down below we have a little bit of extra storage too in this drawer. I love the headboard. I love the artistic kind of the lines and the design of the headboard and how everything kind of matches together. And then over on this side we've got the same thing, that lamp and then the reading lamp as well. And then same sort of thing here. We have switches that control the lights in the room a USB outlet to charge your phone or if you have a wall charger you can plug it in here to charge your phone as well. And it looks like they also have the European kind of style so you can plug a European adapter in here as well as a North American outlet too. And then same as the other side they have a little bit of extra space down here to store some belongings and another drawer to do so as well. We like the room, it's beautiful, it's uh, definitely spacious. There's uh, not too much more you can ask for. There is one more upgrade in the room, like I said, it's a superior suite. And one more thing I wanna show you guys is the view outdoors. So we don't have a particularly amazing view here, but looking outside, we have a view of the Rio Santa Fe. So you look onto uh, all the other guests who are staying at Rio Santa Fe, so you can see this is a pretty much the uh, what we have for a view. We have some mountains in the background here and we have some vegetation as well. So it is a little bit noisy. You get a little bit close to some of the pools that are just on the other side of these villas here. So it's not too, too quiet. Uh, we're in room 231. So if you're looking for a little bit more quiet or a better view, maybe try to look for a different room that's not sort of in this block of the hotel. We find it comfortable. Uh, we've been eating breakfast out on the patio here pretty much every morning with some pastries and cappuccino. With that being said, we did a tour of Rio Santa Fe as well, as well as 
the Ryu Palace, Cabo St. Lucas, and I'll put those videos as well in the description so you can take a look at what those hotels have to offer. So that's gonna do it for our hotel room tour here at Ryu Palace, Baja, California. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're going next.